This quarter three earnings have been incredible from so many companies, including the FANG stocks. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Microsoft earnings as they reported yesterday an excellent growth for the company with uh, with Google. In today's video, we're going to analyze Microsoft earnings, their stock performance, what uh, they are expecting for next quarter and more. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please consider subscribing and smashing that like button since it really, really helps the channel out. Now let's go to my computer and see how they have done. As you can see here, the stock was up yesterday 1.93% after they reported earnings. But if we refresh, we can see that today the stock is up 3.70% because of earnings and it is just 10.28 a.m. This stock is up 45% in the past year and 417% in the past five years with a growth of about 133 since last year, 2020, since the crash of 2020. We see the stock is currently trading on $321 per share. A lot of people are talking about Microsoft getting to $400 which would be huge for Microsoft as it is at all-time high right now. As you can see, its highest point is $321.93 per share in the last 52 weeks, and it is at, it is at $321 per share. It has a market cap of $2.4 trillion and a P.E. ratio of 39.92. In comparison to Google, I do have to say that it's a little bit high at the moment because as you can see here, it is around 38 to 39 as it, as it says here, but it has been going up since 2018. It is the last time that it saw that it was a 38 or that surpassed 38 was in 2018 when stocks dropped and then in 2016. So it is at all time highs at the moment and obviously we don't like to invest when stocks are at all time highs right now and the PE ratio is this high but still Microsoft is a kind of company that I like to invest in the long term. I do want to wait for a drop or a crash or a correction to happen to this stock in order to be able to add to this position because I do believe that it's a little bit high right now. Now, well, Microsoft beats revenue expectations reporting 22% growth. They were able to report fiscal first quarter earnings that exceeded analyst ex estimates. Earnings of $2.27 per share versus $2.07 per share expected by analysts and revenue of $45.32 billion versus $43.97 billion. The total, com total company revenue climbed 20 2%. And now I do have to say that I like this chart, but we're going to talk about this later on when we have when we have a um, Microsoft press release in front of us as well. So as we can see here, um, Microsoft said that they deliver a strong start to fiscal year with their Microsoft Cloud generating $20.7 billion in revenue for the quarter, up 36% year over year. Now, they did report a revenue growth of 22%, as we said, which was $45.3 billion at the moment, which if we check here, we can see... The growth that this company has been having year over year is incredible, just like the rest of the FANG stocks as well as quarter over quarter. This was always obviously last quarter as they have just as they just reported last quarter earnings. So this is not third quarter, but two, but the second quarter of 2021. And still we can see the growth that this company have been having. So they reported $45.3 billion for the last quarter. Now here's the chart that we were talking about. We can see that these are all the products that Microsoft offers at the moment from top to bottom are the most significant products for their business to the least significant ones. In comparison to what CNBC has here is that the top one is the highest growth at the moment. As we can see that Azure and other cloud services grew 50% this last quarter, 50%. But the most significant business for them is their office commercial products and cloud services, which grew 18%. Now, if we check their press release, we can see that office commercial products and cloud services increased 18%, 365, 23%, LinkedIn, 42%. And all of these different products and Azure, which we were talking, we were talking about, it was 50% growth. Still, even the Xbox content, Xbox content grew 2%. So in my opinion, all of their service, except for Surface, are having a very, very nice growth. Surface decreased 17% year over year, but still all of the other services are having a nice, nice growth in the moment. And I'm very happy with a 50% growth in their cloud business. So yes, they're 
45.3 billion dollars in total revenue the total cost of revenue was 13.6 billion dollars all the way up from 11 but still it did not grow that much in comparison to the revenue as we can see the operating income increased 27 percent so their revenue increase grew 22 percent but their operating income grew 27 percent meaning that they were they have been able to manage their expenses way better to be able to generate even more profit from the current revenue that's why their net income increased 47.5 percent to 20.5 billion dollars a huge growth from 13.8 billion dollars in back in september 2020 now their balance sheet we can see that they have total cash of 19 billion dollars all the way up from 14 in, since june 2021 current total current assets 174 billion dollars which are a little bit down 10 billion dollars from 184 billion dollars but still have a very nice position you're gonna see why they have total asset of 335.4 billion and dollars current liabilities of 80.5 billion dollars remember that they have 174 current assets and 80.5 billion dollars in current liabilities and total liabilities of 183.4 billion dollars now they have a higher debt here with a five Bill, 50 billion dollars in long-term debt but still they have 174 billion dollars in current assets they can easily pay that with the short-term investments and be more than five than fine and be a debt-free company so because of this excellent balance sheet they currently have a current ratio of 2.16 which this means that they're more than fine with their liquidity for the short term of the company and that is obviously very important because we need this company to continue improving and innovating and investing into the growth of this company and if they're not able to to be relaxed with their current um, liabilities they will need they will be focusing more in the, in the short term than the long term and we want them to focus in the long term i do have to say that even though microsoft is not my favorite company out of the big tech companies this has this was a very nice growth for the company 22 percent growth is no something easy that is not something that every company is able to do and even more a 2.4 trillion dollars company still it is the slowest growth company fan company at the moment he, microsoft is not part of the fan group but still I, they are kind of related because of the tech companies but facebook had a growth of 20 of 35 percent netflix 24 percent google 43 percent and then we have microsoft with the lowest growth of 22 percent but still 22 percent growth is very nice for this huge company which the stock is up 145 percent in the past year and 417 percent in the last year i do have to say that i have a position in this stock which is currently up a hundred 136 percent as the stock is up over almost five percent at the moment today and have a really nice average cost of 137 dollars per share i do have to say that is a teeny tiny position as it only represents 1.79 percent of my robin hood portfolio not my overall portfolio my robin hood portfolio as to be honest since i started investing in this company the stock has been going up and up since then and even though there has been some correction i have not invested back in then because i've been focusing in other investments but certainly microsoft is a stock that i i'm going to be focused more in the long term if a correction come uh, were to happen because you guys know that i don't like to invest at all-time highs and microsoft at the moment is at all-time highs and it's a little bit a little bit expensive in my opinion so i would like to wait and see for a correction or a crash or a, or a downturn to happen with this stock before adding more to this position i will leave you here my video on my facebook analysis which i posted yesterday if you go and if you would like to go and watch it after this one thank you and see you next time